Ariane felt troubled seeing Dale having one over Monica. She is wondering how she could take Monica away from him for she is positive Dale had a sinister plan for them both. But how could she prove Dale's evil intention? In the depth of Rain's restlessness, he couldn't focus on his work as his thoughts were all around Ariane. What was Ariane's story that she had to lie to him was running in his mind. As Rain was brooding on his table, whiling away his time thinking about Ariane, there she was standing by the door, silently watching him, waiting that he would notice her presence. Indeed, Rain noticed her by just the scent of her perfume that he radiated a joyful smile, setting aside his frustration about the lie Ariane put up with. He locked eyes with her, hoping that Ariane would clear his doubts of why she lied, so he asked, How's your day with your mom and dad? And how was your trip to Wildwood and back, here to Trenton? You should have called, babe. You must have missed me much, huh? My parents were great and my train ride was fine too. I didn't bother calling you because I wanted to surprise you, babe. Rain's concern laced with doubt as he probed. Why are you lying, Ariane? Ariane's face turned red and her eyes grew wide. What? Why are you saying this? I called you, but I can't reach you so I called your mom, but it was your dad who took my call. Now, you're lying on my face. I am not lying, I have. You have what? Lie to me again? You already judged me, so what's the use? It's useless talking to you. I have my reasons. Let us talk when you have cooled down. I'm leaving. Rain was gobsmacked. He had never seen Ariane like this and he couldn't believe that Ariane had lied straight to his face. He took a deep breath and made him thought the secrecy surrounding her excuses cast a shadow of mystery over their conversation. He sat fretting, thinking what went wrong and why did she became that defensive. Rainy slumped on his chair and thought, what's wrong, Ariane? What made you lie to me? Are you with another man? Is he the reason that you learned to lie? Oh, Ariane, don't keep me in the shadows. Ariane returned home to her apartment, thinking about what transpired between her and Rain. She was in deep thought when Ingrid got home. Ingrid, Rain and I had a serious argument this afternoon. We exchanged words about how I lied to him, and I left him without a word or explanation about his accusations. I felt bad, Ingrid. Ingrid was shocked, giving a shuddering breath. You lied? About what? I told him that I'm going home to Wildwood to see how my parents are doing, but the truth is, I didn't go home, Ingrid. What do you mean you didn't go home? But why should you say to him? What's the real reason you gave that as an excuse? I don't understand, and you didn't even tell me anything about your plan. I'm sorry, Ingrid, but I can't. It is something that I have to work on my own. But you can't keep things on your own, my dear. How can I help if you would not open up to me? And here you are, crying in front of me, but you're not telling me what the problem is. Unless... Unless what, Ingrid? Oh my gosh, Ariane, you are pregnant? At that moment, Rain crept towards the door of the girl's apartment and was about to open the doorknob when he heard Ingrid said in a loud voice that Ariane is pregnant. What? You're pregnant, babe? Ariane was startled and simultaneously said, No. No, I'm not pregnant. Why do you think about that, Ingrid? I am not. If you're not pregnant, then what are you keeping away from me? Tell me. Why are you so angry? I'm not keeping a secret from you. It's something I can't tell as yet. You should respect my privacy, Rain. Ah, oh, come on, Ariane. Why do you keep on lying? Don't I have the right to know? I have nothing to say. Trust me, please. Just give me time, Rain. That's all I ask. Ariane is caught in the middle of the road of uncertainty and fear. What if she would tell Rain? Wouldn't it jeopardize her plan of saving Monica? For Rain would also be protective of his brother Dale. I'm glad you've watched the series. Please click like, 
subscribe and share. If you wish to express how you felt about this series, write your comment in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Part 78 is next.